We're going to look at how you draw areas in visual analysis. First thing to do is click on the Structure Ribbon tab and then make sure that Draw Areas is selected. Once that's done, go to the Model View and hold down your mouse and drag it between points. When you get to the end of the first line or side of the area, click your mouse and set the point at that location and then continue to do so as you work your way around the area you want to create. Once an area is created, you'll see that it has its sides displayed by default. The heavy blue lines represent area sides. Area sides are selectable, and the things you can do with an area side are to support it or potentially put a load on it, which will be, which will be shown in another video. Things you can do with an existing area are to put a hole in it, and to do that, we'll simply draw another area on the inside of the outside area and once that's done you'll see that we have drawn a shape in the middle. Is this area a hole or not? Well if we don't select anything we see that it doesn't appear to be a hole. Selecting that inner area again if we look at the inspector over on the left we have a type and we can switch that type to a hole and thus create the whole of the area. Notice that the hole has sides as does the outer area. So the way we can create a hole is to draw it inside and then set its type to a hole. This interior area can also be a corridor. So if we set its type to corridor, what is that used for? Well, if we're going to create an area load out of this area, we'll be able to specify a corridor pressure which is different than the main area pressure and that's where a, where a corridor can be useful. Another thing we can do with this interior area is turn it into a meshed area. A meshed area is useful if we want to use a mesh of different sizes for this interior area than the rest and that will be useful if we decide to mesh the area which is shown in another video as well. Once we have an area drawn, we can also draw adjoining areas or crossing areas. Let's show an example of a crossing area. So if I draw an area that clips a corner, the resulting areas we see gets clipped to the existing area. Now maybe we'd like to create or join these two areas, and an easy way to do that is to select them both by holding down the control button when I select the second, select the second and then use my right mouse button and select Merge Areas. And when we do that, we see we have then created areas to be merged. Let's suppose we want to remove a side from an existing area. We're going to do that by going to the Model Filter Area Details. Let's turn the sides off, but turn on the vertices. And now we see green air circles that represent the vertices. These vertices are selectable, and if I do that and hit the Delete key, we see we can reduce the area sides and therefore compress our area down. So that represents the basic way we manipulate areas in visual analysis.